So, had ourselves a nasty little tet a tet this morning. And wow, did it get ugly. Stephanie and I dared to take on rabid anti-theist, rabid anti-theist, mind you, Shannon Q. And wow, did she come ready to cause pain. I mean, this is one of the meanest, baddest anti-theists out there. Blood-curdling talking points. And she persecuted us, quite frankly. Yeah, poor Stephanie and I. She persecuted us. She did. I hate your God. And he doesn't exist. Well, Shannon, that doesn't even make sense. Shut up. I hate Christians. I eat Christians for breakfast. No, it, you know, okay, so that's a slight exaggeration. <laughs> it, was, it was exactly as you expect as Shannon, exactly as I expected uh, sit down with Shannon to go. And if you're an atheist listening to this, you know, do yourself a favor. Take a page from the Shannon Q playbook. I, I cannot think of a possible better spokesperson for your cause than Shannon. Um, I've never actually seen her... I've never actually seen her even step over a line or be inappropriate or be uncool, not once, I don't think. I can't think of any time where I've seen her like... So, it was a nice little genial, relaxed conversation. Now, in terms of an anti-theist, I take it as a matter of faith. Faith! Yeah, I hate that word! Faith is believing in something without evidence. <laughs> yeah, that's my Richard Dawkins. You didn't like it? I thought it was good. You just, all right, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. That's what I, just, I thought it was good Richard talking. No? All right. Anyways, I take it as a matter of faith. Now, Shannon considers herself an anti-theist. And I believe, uh, as does Godless Cranium and even, even little Drew. Yeah, little Drew hates God. Yeah, nice little Drew hates, hates religion. Hates it with a passion. No, he doesn't hate God. God doesn't exist. Hates religion with passion. Yeah, nice little Drew. Can't stand it. Now, I take it as a matter of faith, like I said, that if I were to sit down with them and they were to give me a 15-minute exposition on what, they, what exactly, why they're an anti-theist and what they don't like about religion, I would probably agree with a lot of the things they have to say. Honestly. You know, religion's intolerant. Okay, I'm with you. I'm not for that. I myself am personally intolerant, but I don't, I don't necessarily think it should be practiced by other people. You know, they say religion is dogmatic and closed-minded and narrow-minded. I probably, I can't, I don't know exactly what their case is against religion. Um, as far as I know, they've never spelled it out publicly. Uh, they, point A, point B, point C. But my guess is, is that we come to a lot of the same conclusions about what is actually wrong with religion? So that's part of the point of a dialogue. You know, um, obviously we would disagree about some things. I'm sure in their case against religion, they'd say, you know, they'd probably try and sneak in there. There's no God. <laughs> they'd probably try to sneak that in there. I'd be like, oh, I don't agree with that one. I don't agree with that one, you know. They'd say like, I'm opposed to hating gays. And I'd be like, okay, I'm with you on that. You know, I'm opposed to dogmatic intolerance. I'm like, okay, I'm with you on that. I bet you anything would agree on a lot of it. Um, yeah, we wouldn't agree on the God aspect. That's probably a big one. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a big, that's probably a big disagreeing point. But that's part of the thing. And this is what I tried to point out in the conversation with um, Shannon. And actually with their first video, when she first started her YouTube channel, one of the things that she said and one of the things that I actually see her doing so put, mark her down as someone who practices what she preaches. That she's trying to have more open conversations and be more productive in her engagement with people who believe differently than she didn't. Let me than she does. And let me just be the one to tell you, as someone who believes things completely and utterly different than she does, that she practices what she preaches. She she's easy to engage with, easy to talk to. Um, never seen her, I've never really seen her go after anybody in any way that's personal or out of line or unfair. So maybe she's done it somewhere, but I haven't seen it. So that was that. I thought it was good. I thought it was a productive conversation. And hopefully there will be many, many more in the future. And even with a little friend, Godless Cranium. Uh, amen.